Hello everyone, Stigma Later here, and welcome to Resident Evil Code Veronica Rex. We are continuing the Resident Evil story. The American Midwestern town, Raccoon City, has been completely decimated due to the T-Virus outbreak that was instigated by the international corporation Umbrella. Claire Redfield, who arrived in Raccoon City to search for her lost brother Chris and a rookie police officer, Leon S. Kennedy, managed to escape from the city. But their ordeal was only a prelude of things to come. Three months later. Three months after the destruction of Raccoon City. Your identification number is WKD4496. <sighs> Welcome to your new home. <laughs> Her name is Claire Redfield. We caught her trespassing in our Paris lab facility 10 days ago. She apparently infiltrated the complex looking for her lost brother, Chris Redfield, one of the surviving members of RPD's famous STARS teams. Do you think, Claire? That's our girl. Sound like someone's having a party? You right there, dude? If I were equipped with a lighter, I could see outside. Thanks, thanks, Captain Obvious. Player manual. Check all items. When you obtain a new item, always remember to look at it with the check command on the status screen. Remember, it's always best to rotate the item so you can check it from different angles. 
try to push objects. If you face an object and press press and hold up on the directional button, sometimes you'll be able to push it. You may find hidden rooms and items this way. Use the quick turn. You can quick you can turn 180 degrees instantly by pressing the cancel button while holding the direction button down. This is a very effective move when you attack an enemy and then want to turn and run away run around. Run away rather. Use the map screen. Yep, we know that. Climb, descend. Security boxes. The items you saw in, secure, in a security box in a prison area cannot be accessed through an item box. Make sure you remove all important items from a security box before exiting a room. Thank you. Quip. There we go. Hi. <laughs> Send some subtitles on. Go on. Get out of here. This place is finished. I don't know, it might have been a special forces team. But in any case, this prison's been taken over. Troops have been wiped out. What are you saying? You're free to leave the complex. But you may as well know you have no chance of getting off this island. And what about you? What are you going to do? Don't worry about me. All right, I won't. Do we have subtitles? I don't think we do. Right. I'll just try to be quiet then when this conversation is going on. A hemostatic capsule is on the floor. It's empty. His eyes are closed. He's bleeding. I'll need hemostatic medicine. It's a list of prisoners. My name is at the end. WKD 4496 Claire Redfield. The escort's name is at the end of the document. Umbrella Medical Paris 3rd Security Unit Leader Rodrigo, Rodrigo Juan Raval. I'm guessing that's you, mate. I'm taking your knife. Anything else here? Doesn't look like it. I haven't played this one for years. This is going to take some remembering. Yep, I'll take that. Pretty sure there's no auto save, so I'll probably be saving a lot. Ah, the good old loading screen. This is the PlayStation 2 version of this game. Being played on the PS4 though. <coughs> uh. 
not a good situation to be in. I'm not hanging about for that lot. No way. Dave, everyone's not favourite. Well, great. Wait right there. I'm coming over. Uh, sorry about that little misunderstanding, but I thought you were another one of those monsters. Shut up. Make one wrong move and I'll shoot. said I was sorry. My name's Steve. I was a prisoner on this island. And I'm guessing you're not from Umbrella either. No, I'm Claire. Claire Redfield. Claire? Hmm. Nice. I'll remember that. Hey, I heard there's an airport around here. Once I find it, I can finally escape from this crazy island. I'll see ya. Hey, wait up! I don't want you following me, lady. You'll only slow me down. What a delightful young man. Ugh. Hopefully this game will get the remake treatment next and they can work on the appalling dialogue. And give Steve a personality. That'd be nice. He's not breathing. Yeah, no shit, Sherlock. Definitely going to need that. Just pop in here, get out of the rain. you both taken care of? Yep, looks like it. What's this? Ooh, map. Another herb, thank you. Anything in here? No. All right, we're good. Interesting fact, if you didn't know, this game was actually supposed to be Resident Evil 3. But because of a deal they had with Sony, uh, Nemesis got bumped up to main game status and this was relegated to the sideline as a sideline game. Prisoner's Diary. May 13th. This room stinks of death. Based upon the information I found, I believe that I'm far south of the equator. 
Lucky for me, that Bob in the bunk below me is one of, the, one of those interesting types of guys. May 16th. Today Bob told some crazy story of why he was put in this place with me. Bob said that he used to be an attendant of the head of this place. This boss named Alfred supposedly placed him in here because of a tiny little mistake. What does that mean? What's going to happen to me? May 20th. Without warning, a group of military men took Bob to the building behind the guillotine stand. At midnight, I'll sneak out of here to see him. I've been hearing that anyone taken to that building never comes back. On top of that, there are these really large plastic bags constantly being removed from that place. I better pray for Bob. May 21st. I was wrong. I shouldn't have gone there. What, what is going on in there? All I could hear was some insanely creepy laughter and the sound of Bob screaming. I don't know what to do. I can't stop thinking about it. Is that going to happen to me? I can't let it. I just can't. May 27th. Since my last entry, all of my fellow inmates have been taken to that building. I know that I am next. It's obvious that we were all here to be used as Alfred's guinea pigs. There's no way out. What am I going to do? Sorry friend, but not a damn thing. Hello there. Can I have those? Ah, damn it. Be it for in here. I'll leave you guys to it. I have no reason to come back to this area. <laughs> no, nothing out up there. That's fine. Oh, I wonder what you could be. This probably has my favourite kind of fixed camera perspective, the one that moves along with the character. It was a, a nice evolution of the camera angle. Come on, stay dead please. I could have used my knife to finish him off, but I couldn't be bothered. Please deposit any metallic items you have in the security box. Yay! Alright, lighter. Alright, 
That should be it. Alright, what have we got here? User's Manual. 3D Duplicator User's Manual. Our new product, the 3D Duplicator, consists of two parts. 3D Scanner. This portion scans a 3D object. Simply place the material that you want to have scanned into the tray of the scanner. The scanned object will be processed into 3D data which will be transferred to the duplicator portion. If you place the material you wish to have converted on the machine, you can, you can begin conver conversion based on the 3D data that was created by the 3D scanner portion. The, con the conversion will be executed with complete data accuracy. The result will be an object precisely true to the original. Hey, Resident Evil predicted 3D printing. Probably not. Probably some... Uh, Probably Star Trek probably is probably closest to predicting it. Because Star Trek predicted everything. Well that and the Simpsons. Alright, grab all these. Facts on the facility access application. Be sure to verify the content of the following facility access application form and add the applicant's name to the expected visitors list. Chief Prison Guardroom Paul Steiner. I hereby apply for access permission for Prison Area D. Details follow. Visitor's name, Carl Grissom. Purpose of entry, carrying in the following materials. New product sample from Metal Industries Co. TG01. Various daily commodities ordered by the prison. Note, I will use a transportation truck. Two TG01 sample will be stored in a designated briefcase. Cool. Chris Redfield. Hey, Steve. What are you doing here? Chris Redfield. Is he a relative of yours or something? You mean my brother? Ah. Your siblings. Well, it seems your brother is under surveillance by Umbrella. What? I've got to contact Leon and tell him to let my brother know he's being monitored. It's a good thing I have access to an outside connection from here. Well, that file shows the latitude and longitude of this place. <laughs> Why don't you send your brother the coordinates and ask him to come help? Thanks. I'll do that. Hey, I was just kidding. There's no way he could get here, even if he is your brother. Yes, he can. I'm sure of it. No way. He won't come. You'll just end up disappointed if you rely on others. Believe me, I know. What was that all about? Who knows? Maybe we'll find out later in a dramatic fashion. Yep, we'll take that. The email to Leon has already been sent. Cool. The door is being held by something. It can't be opened from this side. Ah, that's annoying. <laughs> All right, let's get this emblem scanned. Mm. 
Yeah, come on, you do your thing. Please place the material you wish to have scanned in the scanner portion of this machine. that done. Now we need to go and find something to complete the printing. 3D data transmission complete. Why thank you good sir. Please deposit any metallic items you have in the security box. Certainly. <laughs> Damn it, I waited too long. I wanted to shoot that. Never mind. Thank you. Do a check. God damn it. Keep wasting ammo. Yeah, one thing this game would definitely benefit from from the remake is the uh, the hitboxes and the action uh, in general. As much as I don't, I prefer fixed camera. It that hit that time period is over. We have we have to be honest with ourselves about that. Oh god damn it. Mm. 
You dead? Yes. Good. Ow. Briefcase. Yes, open it. The TG01. Product description. Thank you for your continued support for using our products. This time we have gathered our most advanced technologies and have succeeded in creating the unique anti metal detection alloy TG01. 1. Cannot be detected by any metal detectors. Cannot be pictured by whatever the hell that is. Rotent genography at the immigration check. Lightweight yet durable. We plan to develop various weapons utilising this innovative new alloy. We have enclosed a sample for you to review. We look forward to hearing from you regarding possible business opportunities. Metal Industries Co. Chief Development Planning Carl Redhill. Not red field, but a red hill this time. Alright. Let's head back. Oh good, the boy racers are out again. Let's put an extra loud exhaust on our shitty little 1.1 Nova. That'll make us cool. Deposit any, any metallic, metallic items you have in the, the maturity box. box. Yeah, that's the one. Uh, fair dues. There we go. Right, now, this is something I only learned recently. Let's take this out. Now those guys aren't going to come in. I only learned that watching, um, I think it was Rach, uh, Don't Rage Quit on Twitch. So I learned that from her. All the years I've played this game and I never thought about that. Never even knew that was a possibility. Yeah. Okay, now we can open you up and we should be good to go. I know. Right. Now we can move on to pastures new.
Don't you love the sound of zombies moaning at night? Very relaxing and romantic. No, you do not. Not today, Frank. Not today. Ah, more bullets, thank you. Herbicals, I'd grab those. Perfect, and then we can get you. I'm not so sure that those stairs are perfectly safe hanging uh, going over a chasm like that but again there is a roller coaster that goes over the top of a building so what do I know god damn it didn't get bit then nice Very noisy flies. I don't think I ever used, ever really used a knife in this game before. Can't carry any more items. Well, shit. I'll come back for that later then. Thank you. Nothing useful, fair enough. All right, we've made it to this area. I forget what it's called. Secretary's note. Four years have passed since I began serving Sir Alfred. He doesn't trust anyone. Even though I am his attendant, I am still strictly prohibited from entering his private house. What is his problem, anyway? They say he lives with his twin sister, Alexia, in his private house on the hill. Occasionally I've seen someone standing by the window of the house. It might have been Alexia, whose extreme beauty is often talked about. I once asked Sir Alfred about this, but it only enraged him. Even though I am his attendant, he will not show me any leniency. 
If I ask about her again, I could put, I could put my life at risk. After all, it is a mystery why he so desperately tries to keep his private life of Alexia a secret. Robert Dawson. Well, I think it might have something to do with the fact that Alfred is ever so slightly insane, as we will discover as we progress. Alright, let's dump some of these off. There we go. That's much more to my liking. Another herb. Take the ID card, yes. And then we will check it. So I'm pretty sure that's got a code on it that we need. Yes. Alright, we can take a quick picture of that. So we can get that sorted, right. This game would look amazing in the RE engine, it really would. Security lock system is active. Enter an employee ID to activate the unlocking device. Please enter your ID number. Right. Uh, NTC 0394. ID verification in process in progress. Please wait. Verification has been confirmed. Security lock system is deactivated. Nice. ID card is no longer useful. Discard it. Yes. No sense carrying uh, stuff we don't need. <laughs> That's the reason I've got my lighter on for this. These bloody things. Briefcase. Oh, I saw that. Oh, what's in here? More bullets. Yes. What's that? Toilet is made out of marble. Ooh, fancy. Okay, I think we're done in there. Secure by a simple lock. I could open it if I had a lock pick. Right. So I need a lock pick. Unfortunately, Jill is not here to provide us with her unlocking mastery skills. So let's go drop some items off. I'm in no rush to get through this. I'm going to take my time as I haven't played this game for a while. And I'm going to end this episode here. Thank you very much for taking the time to watch this, guys. If you liked it, like, subscribe, ding that bell. 
I've been Sigma Later. This has been Resident Evil Code Veronica X. And I'll catch you next time. Take care now.